this be the story of a quest that nasty of nasties Queen Arika and her offsider Groover the Rap King are soon to lay a curse on all of Fantasyland and its wonderful creatures. Our magic mirror has enlisted the assistance of Big Brandon and Little Brandon, our two superheroes. They are to retrieve certain colours from fairy tales, thus forming a rainbow that will save all of Fantasyland and its wonderful creatures. Our first fairy tale is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The bears come home and find Goldilocks has sat in the chair, turned on the dishwasher, eaten all the porridge. The Brandons then arrive on the scene and rescue the orange from the orange juice. Well done, Brandon and Brandon. Our next fairy tale is the big bad wolf and the three little pigs. He tries to sell them a house of straw, a house of sticks, and finally a house of bricks. Big Brandon urges little Brandon to not make a sound or a move while the auction goes ahead. The time is ripe. The big bad wolf has his purple plum sauce, but not for very much longer. Brandon and Brandon succeed in their next quest. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack swaps his cow for a handful of magic beans, which in turn grow a giant beanstalk. Giant Jeff comes flying down the tree after Jack, but only to give him one of his golden eggs. Brandon's turn up, Jeff's your giant, Brandon's your hero, and another quest has been successfully completed. Well, here we are at Orica's place. It seems that the magic mirror has taken on a bit of extra work just to make ends meet. Orica is slowly being thwarted in her plans to take over Fat's land, but she's not one to take it sitting down lightly. And there's also Groover in the mix. Our tale continues. The three blind mice, Tom, Dick and Harry. They're being chased by the farmer's wife, Orica, who wants to cut off their tails with a carving knife of all things. Then along comes Brandon and Brandon. They rescue the blue vein cheese. Brandon has it, then Orica has it, then Brandon has it again. Tom, Dick and Harry just listen on in astonishment. Our next fairy tale is probably the most famous of them all. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Barry. The wicked queen, alias Orica, has brought around the red apple. Snow White is encouraged to take a big bite out of the poisoned apple. The dwarves aren't happy, they form a committee. Then Brandon and Brandon save the day. Our final fairy tale is Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red finds Grandma disguised as the big bad wolf at Grandma's place. Wolf tries to catch her. Orica jumps out of the cupboard. They have her surrounded. So they think 
Of course, who should turn up? Brandon and Brandon and Groover, who seems to have switched sides. Well, the Brandons seem to have saved Fantasyland. Everyone is full of excitement and joy. There now only appears to be the one task required, the mixing of the colours in the big pot to form a rainbow. Well, the quest has been fulfilled. Brandon and Brandon have collected all the colours from the fairy tales and placed them into the big pot. Mix them together and a rainbow is formed. Fantasy land has been saved. But will Orica live to fight another day? We can only wait and see when Quest 2 is written. But for now, join in the celebration that can only be had in the saving of Fantasyland.